The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, Christopher Hughes from BoatTest.com, and today we're going to test and review the Evan Root e -Tech G2 250. It's a new engine, so let's take a look and see what she has to offer. This Evinrude E-Tech G2 engine produces 250 horsepower from a 74 degree V6 mill that displaces 210 cubic inches or 3.4 liters. This offshore capable power plant can spin up to 6,000 RPM turning a reduction gear case of 1.85 to 1 while weighing in 558 pounds. To test this engine, we mounted it to a center console fish boat equipped with a large T-top and removed any unnecessary gear. She had an overall length of 23 feet 9 inches and a beam of 8 feet 6 inches. We also had 58 gallons of fuel on board along with two people to bring our estimated test weight to 4,001 pounds. Our test conditions were very sloppy with winds averaging over 15 miles per hour. Nailing the throttle down, we recorded an average time to plane of 3.5 seconds and a time from 0 to 30 miles per hour of 5 seconds flat. At wide open throttle, we recorded an average top speed of 48.9 miles per hour, turning at 5,500 RPM while burning 21.2 gallons per hour. Our best cruise came in at 26.5 miles per hour while turning 3,500 RPM and burning 7.7 .7 gallons per hour. Significant consideration has been taken to keep the intake and exhaust noise of the E-Tech G2 quiet through specially tuned silencers. We recorded an idle sound level taken at the cowling of only 66 dBA, which is only slightly higher than a normal conversation. The ultra-lightweight, multi-piece, thermoformed engine cowling allows easy access to the G2250's service points. The starboard side panel removes to reveal the main components. Below we have a 2 gallon engine lube oil reservoir connected to the lube oil distribution manifold. To the left is the gear case oil reservoir with a convenient sight tube. There is easy access to the spin off fuel filter water separator. Here we can see the individual coils for each spark plug. The aluminum colored device is the sophisticated fuel injectors pulsing up to 100 times per second and injecting fuel directly into each cylinder. They are controlled by the water-cooled EMM unit. Up top is the maintenance-free Magneto-style charging system that produces 133 amps and dedicates 50 of them to run the engine's electrical components. While at the other end, a 25-inch shaft lower unit spins a stainless steel three-bladed prop that measures 15 inches in diameter with a 17-degree pitch. The transom mount carries the innovative hydraulic rotary steering actuator that is electronically buffered to provide progressive feedback at different engine speeds, just like a high-end luxury car. This feature not only makes the boat easier to pilot, but you should also note the absence of any steering gear at the transom, making it safer for water activities while streamlining the stern's appearance. Evan Rood also put a lot of thought into the power trim system. The fast track power trim does just that. It rapidly trims the motor up and out of the water to an angle of 81 degrees. Saltwater boaters will love this as it keeps the skeg totally out of the brine and eliminates corrosion from electrolysis. BRP incorporated eye trim on the E-Tech G2250, which automatically trims the drive while underway, depending upon engine speed and ensuring optimal performance even for novice drivers. Because the Evan Rudy e tech G2 engines were designed with saltwater in mind, Increased use of stainless steel and advanced metal treatments were used to reduce corrosion potential. Throughout the unit, a titanium oxide coating was applied to critical surfaces in conjunction with electro-deposited paint for the drive housing for a long-lasting, durable finish. Our test rig was equipped with the standard Evinrude Icon controls and the new Icon 3.5-inch color screen display for all engine parameters as well as water temp and tankage information. This system is also available in a 4.3 and 7 inch touchscreen monitors that can be linked with any third party compatible software for maximum data interfacing. Our test conditions were less than ideal but provided a great proving ground for the G2250. The precise digital throttles moved effortlessly and the engine is smooth and responsive. When adding throttle at any RPM, we felt the torque of the engine kick and respond with no hesitation. We also noticed how the lighter weight of the two-stroke engine felt compared to a four-cylinder during a backing down test. 
The Evinrude E-Tech G2250 is a sophisticated engine designed for use in freshwater lakes as well as in saltwater offshore environments. From her integrated steering and direct injection fuel system to her advanced block design and 500 hours before any scheduled maintenance, this 250 horsepower outboard has a lot to offer today's boaters. For BoatTest.com, I'm Christopher Hughes.